We're already eating out here on the plaza. You've been grilling since Memorial Day. Maybe you've had enough burgers and hot dogs. Well, our resident chef Bobby Flay is here with a great alternative. Very nice. Everything this morning is Greek inspired. Greek inspired. All right. I, I've been I've been to Greece a couple of times in the summer. It is a perfect cuisine for this time of the year because it's incredibly flavorful. Right. Flavorful. It's health. It's very healthy. Not so heavy necessarily. Exactly. And right. it's and, and it's really interesting stuff. So we're gonna make a couple of different dishes today. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make some lamb, mm -hmm. uh, some lamb tenderloin, lamb souvlaki, which mm -hmm. basically means lamb on a skewer. Mm -hmm and some oregano vinaigrette. We're also gonna add some lamb sausage to that. Nice. And I'm gonna make a yogurt sauce with some radish to kind of cut through the yogurt. Oh, I like it. Yes. Yeah. And then some pita, good good quality pita that we're gonna right. throw on the grill. And we're gonna yep. serve it with uh, some peppers and some onions. You can wrap it in the pita or not. It's up to you. Looks pretty easy. And we're also gonna make some shrimp, some grilled shrimp with an orzo salad. Which a uh, which is like a uh, it's pasta, but right. it looks like rice, right. and it's got lots of lemon in it and some tomatoes. And it's almost garlic, like the dill. rest of a Greek salad. In exactly there, right. right. Okay. It's got all. The, you're on. You're on to me. I'm getting it. It's Greek salad orzo style. Okay. And then some grilled uh, stone fruits. Today we have some nectarines. You could use peaches or some other things. Mm -hmm. And uh, think of the spices that are in baklava, like cinnamon, allspice, Ooh, clove. I'm liking that. And we just we just sort of let let those sort of uh, meld together with some honey, and we put them on there. All right. Let's get so let's to get work. together. All right. So we're, we're going to put our sausage, our lamb sausage, on the grill. Yeah. And we're also going to put um, our souvlaki on the grill. Okay. So now, do you just get this, this at the meat shop? Lamb tenderloin. You can you can ask the you can ask the butcher for lamb tenderloin or lamb loin. Uh -huh. You can also do it with leg of lamb. Okay. But um, which is actually a little bit less expensive. But you know, uh, the tenderloin is just going to be a lot better right. and a lot quicker to uh, to use. Sure. Right? And then um, I said, and so basically, when you're grilling, Harry, what I like to do. This is just sort of one of the basics of grilling. Yeah. I like to put the charcoal on one side and on the other side zero. Right. You hot bank spot. it up on one side. And, exactly. Yeah. So if you get flare ups, you can move it to the other to yeah. the other part of it. And okay? then if you need to char it, you've got the heat right there. If you need to back it off, you can back it exactly. off. Exactly. So basically, you want to cook this for. I mean, you know, I, I cooked it a little bit ahead of time, but you want to cook this for about, uh, you know, maybe five or six minutes total. Yeah. Not okay. a long time. Exactly. And then we have our lamb sausage oh, as that well. Oh, that looks good, right? Okay. We have a knife, Harry. Can you pass oh, yeah. me a knife. Let's chop this up. So, you know, basically, it's almost like, think about it as like Greek fajitas, you know? Oh. You have some lamb, lamb sausage, yeah. and then some pitas. We just throw these on the grill. Don't okay. have to leave them on there very long. And this is what it's going to look like. All that right? looks gorgeous. So you have the radish with the, with the yogurt, the so onions. So that's just radish and yogurt, that's all? Hey, radish and yogurt and a little bit of garlic. All right, you know all what, right. somebody's got to try it. Yeah, just go crazy. All right, now you go ahead and start all right, your fine. next one. And I'm then we have some it. shrimp. Oh, i got to get my pita. Here's some fresh pita for you, Harry. Thanks, buddy. So we, then we have some shrimp, and uh, I just marinated the shrimp in a little olive oil and salt and pepper. Right. But here's the key to this. The shrimp are fantastic, but the key to this dish is the orzo. Right. Okay, so you cook the pasta. Okay, right. it looks like rice. And then while it's still warm, you make a vinaigrette out of fresh lemon juice, some white wine vinegar, and olive oil. That sounds fresh so good. Fresh garlic yeah, and yeah, yeah. fresh dill. Keep to me, dill is like the forgotten herb. Yeah, and it was and fresh dill, and especially, and you get it everywhere now. I mean, it's all over oh, the place, Oh, yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. Actually, Dave, Dave Price came in, as he always does, to, to taste test before I, before I come on, right. of course. And uh, he recognizes the dill from all the chicken soup he's had in his life. Okay, so we're going to put some of, some of the shrimp right on top. And it's basically like a, like a grilled shrimp salad. And then, of course, good extra virgin olive oil. If you can get it from Greece, that's fantastic. You know, and this is just, that, that's sort of like the sauce for it. That looks awesome. Yeah. That's and really good, by the way. It tastes, that tastes the orzo. Over Check out the orzo. All right, all right no. And then the peaches. I'm doing a lot of eating in this thing. Well, that's okay. Right. I, I'll just keep talking. Keep talking. All right? You're good at it. Yeah, and, and there's also some feta cheese in there as well. I like it. Wow. What do you think? You know what? Like this best. It's really? The dill. It's all of that uh, with the cucumber and well, this everything had, else. This in has there, that real tomato. Right. This yeah. has that real Mediterranean flavor. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's what you want. And the, and the fresh tomatoes. We got these little uh, heirloom tomatoes. They're, they're really sweet. Here's a, here's a a good hint. Mm -hmm. The smaller the tomatoes, usually the sweeter the tomatoes. Mm. The beef steaks sometimes are gorgeous, but sometimes they don't taste like you yeah. want them to. You know. All right. What's your dessert? And then our peaches. Um, this is really simple. So you have the uh, you have some grilled peaches or nectarines or plums, anything along the line, stone fruits, right. okay? And they can be 
um, either ripe or just a little bit less than ripe. Right. Because the, because the when you put them on the grill, they're going to get cooked a lot. They're going to get cooked and the, the, they're going to caramelize on the outside. Right. So we have some Greek yogurt, okay? Yep. And this is just sort of plain Greek yogurt. We're going to put this right on top. And then Harry, this is honey that I've steeped with cinnamon, cloves, and a little bit of allspice. And there you go. And there you go. Greek on the grill. Yeah. Bobby Flay, what a pleasure, always.